feel like I've watched so many videos on weekly planning routines, but I feel like it took me a while to actually find a routine that was flexible and realistic because let's face it, we're busy people and sometimes we just don't have the time for a 10 step weekly planning routine. So here's my very simple weekly planning routine that I've been perfecting over the years in just three simple steps. Okay, so before we get into the three steps of my weekly planning routine, there are actually two things that I think are super important for any weekly planning routine, and that is answering these two questions. How and when are you going to do your weekly planning routine? And I think the how is what you should focus on the most because weekly planning can feel a little bit tedious because it's just like something else you have to do during the week on top of everything else you need to do already but the reality is that even though it can feel a bit tedious it can also help you be more productive and save you so much time throughout the week so if you're new to weekly planning think of this as a habit that you're going to have to create so that you can stick to your weekly routine to stick to it you need to try and find something that will make Make the experience easier and something that you'll want to do and you can do this by just making it a fun activity by maybe making your favorite drink to enjoy while you do your weekly planning which as you can see is something I really like to do or you can treat it like an art project where you decorate your planner while you plan for example I've been seeing a lot of those Hobonichi planners on Pinterest lately they look so fun and kind of therapeutic to be honest i wish i were that artsy but since i'm not i'd rather stick with my digital planner in notion i make my favorite drink and maybe listen to some music while i plan but that is the idea that you make it kind of a little fun activity that you get to do when you plan the reason why i started doing this is because i've actually learned that usually you're more likely to stick to a behavior if you get to do something you you enjoy at the same time you don't have to do this but if you find yourself having a hard time trying to create that habit of doing your weekly planning then this is something you could give a try now as for when to do your weekly planning i usually do it every friday about 20 minutes before logging off for the day but i know some people prefer doing it on saturdays or even sundays personally i can't fully enjoy my weekend if I'm thinking about all the things I will have to do whenever I get back to work on Monday. So if you're like me, I'd really recommend doing it on Fridays before the weekend starts. But if that's not possible to you or you prefer a different day, then do what works best for you. The key is finding what fits your life because that's what's going to help you stick to the habit of weekly planning in the first place. So the first thing I do as part of my weekly planning routine is a weekly review. And there are actually two types of reviews that you can do, but I actually only do one of them. And the first type of review is where you reflect on the things that happened during the past week. So it's almost like a journal entry where you reflect on your achievements and your obstacles and stuff like that. I used to do this every week. But my problem with this type of weekly review is that for me, weekly reflections almost feel like over monitoring. Let me explain. I was recently reading Deep Work by Carl Newport, which is actually this little book right here. And he explained it perfectly because he talks about how frequently reviewing your progress can feel like constantly looking at yourself in the mirror. I thought that was a perfect way of describing that because you start becoming overly self-conscious about your progress and almost kind kind of obsessed with every little detail and this can actually detract you from focusing on actually getting the work done instead of just trusting the process. So I don't really do this anymore. I prefer monthly reflections instead. Let me move on to my laptop so that I can show you my Notion template. So as you can see, this is the dashboard of my Notion template. I have my daily and weekly focus, which is a simple to-do list for my week and then if we go on to these pages on the top we have other this is just a mobile view so that it's easier to see 
the whole template from my phone so that I can easily access my template on the go. And then this is actually the column that we're interested on today, the planning section. We also have some areas for life, so like goals, a wellness page, which is where I have my habit tracker, and a workspace area, which is where I have my projects, my notebooks, my resources. But the page that we're going to go into today is the weekly planning page. So let's click right here. From here, we can see that simple weekly to-do list that I just showed you in the dashboard. And this is actually a synced block. So whatever you write here, you'll also be able to see on that daily and weekly focus on the main dashboard. So we have this section, then we have a journaling section which is what we're going to be talking about right now. Our calendar, this calendar is actually based on the GTD method by David Allen. And then towards the end, we have a weekly review and alignment section. And I promise you, we're gonna come back to this weekly review and alignment section because this is also a very important part of my weekly planning routine. But first, let's go to the journaling section. And from here, we're going to access these pre-made templates. So as you can see right here, I have my monthly reflections template and I also have the weekly reviews template, which are pre-made templates that have journaling prompts where I can reflect on past obstacles and achievements from the past week and past month. But like I said, I don't usually use the weekly ones as much. I just keep it here just in case I ever want to go back to it. But if I scroll down this page, this is actually the second type of weekly review that you can also do. And when I say that I do weekly reviews, this is the type of weekly review that I do. So in this section, I do my weekly reviews where I review all my projects and goals and resources and basically everything I'm working on at the moment all in one place. And the reason why this is step one of my weekly routine, it's because looking at everything I've been working on lately will remind me of the tasks that need to get done. Things I have to do, due dates for important projects, personal goals. This just helps get the gears turning and initiates the weekly planning process so I can plan my week while making sure nothing slips through the cracks. I actually started doing this recently after reading Getting Things Done by David Allen, which is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's this book right here. And he emphasizes how this type of weekly review is actually critical for success and you should have a routine where you review your projects, your tasks, agendas, just to make sure everything is where it should be. And he also talks about how you should be getting clean, clear, current, and complete during this weekly routine, which basically means making sure all your projects are up to date and you're only focused on what's relevant right now. Anything that's not relevant, you can archive or delete so it's not cluttering your space. And that's why if I have the time, I make sure to review everything in my weekly planning section and archive things if they need to be archived. So in this Notion template, I actually have the option where I can check this box and it moves things into my archive database so that I won't see that thing in my current projects, for example. I also review if there's anything I know I won't need anymore so I can delete it and I can keep everything clean and current. So now we're going to move on into the actual weekly planning process. But before I continue, I want to point out that as I mentioned, this is a flexible and realistic routine. The goal with this routine is simply to get the work done. And with that in mind, I want to clarify that while the weekly review in step one can really help with your planning, it's not absolutely essential. 
the rule is if you have the time to do it then do it because it's helpful but i understand life happens and sometimes you might not have the time for it and if that's the case you can choose to skip this step and go straight into the actual weekly planning process another thing that's worth mentioning is that the reason why i feel confident in skipping this step if needed is because i also trust my productivity system in notion even if i skip this step i know i'll be okay and you can also get this notion productivity system for yourself through the link in the description below we also offer different styles to choose from and i absolutely trust this template because the task management database is actually based on the getting things done method by david allen and the organization of the whole template is based on the pair method by Tiago Forte. So that's another reason why I feel comfortable in skipping this first step if I need to do so. And if you also have a good productivity system that you fully trust, then even better. And you can confidently skip this first step and move on to the actual weekly planning process. So the actual weekly planning process is pretty simple. The first thing I do is take a look at my calendar to see what I have scheduled for at least the next 14 days and this helps me identify any important events or tasks that I need to focus on for the upcoming week so that I can add them to my weekly schedule and once I've reviewed my calendar I start adding these three types of tasks to my weekly schedule in the same order important slash deadline tasks routine tasks and me time tasks so like I said I first add Add all my important tasks that have deadlines, important events, or things that need to be done on a specific day. And these are going to be basically time sensitive tasks that should be prioritized. So next, I will go ahead and add my ongoing or routine tasks, which are tasks that repeat regularly and don't have a specific deadline or due date. And so for example, in my case, these are my deep work sessions. Let's say you're a student in your case this could be your study sessions and the last thing i'm going to add is my me time to the weekly schedule and i actually started focusing on scheduling my me time because i used to have a hard time logging off from work since i work for myself i can basically work whenever i want but for example there would be days where i would say okay i'm going to work until 5 30 p.m and then after that i'm just gonna log off but then at 7 p.m i would would find myself back at my computer working again so now i make sure to just schedule my me time my me time is usually in the evenings so i might add here maybe read or play video games or go to the gym but the idea is to include activities that help you wind down for the day and recharge for the next day that's basically everything i do for step two of my weekly routine and just so you know i've also included a free weekly planning notion template in the description below so that you can plan your week using this method and like i mentioned it's completely free so don't forget to grab your free notion template from the description so if step two was creating the weekly schedule you might be wondering what step three is now that we're done with the actual planning and this is one of those steps that i really encourage you not to skip i push myself to do this even when i'm very busy because i know it will save me so much time during the week this step basically involves making a detailed plan for the first day of the week i actually used to plan in detail for every day of the week as part of my weekly routine but i quickly learned it's better to focus on just the first day because things can change throughout the week and if you plan every day you might end up having to redo your weekly schedule which 
is a total waste of time. So for this step, I will just go into detail about what I want to do on day one of the week. And for that, I take what I've added for day one in the weekly schedule from step two and create a very detailed plan for that day. And so for example, if one of my tasks is to post on my social, so Instagram and TikTok, my detailed plan will include exactly what I want to post that day, when I will record, when will I edit and all the specifics of that task. After that, I'm just going to time block the day based on this plan I've created. And this way, when I start on Monday, I'm already prepared and won't have to waste time figuring out what to do. I can just dive straight into my tasks that I need to get done. This step has actually been so helpful that I now do a similar thing every evening. So before logging off, from work, I make a detailed plan for the next day. I review my weekly schedule that I made on step two, and then I create a detailed plan for the next day. And it only takes me about 15 minutes, but saves me so much time throughout the week. And that is all for my weekly planning routine. I know we've covered a lot today, but keep in mind that if you find yourself short on time, just focus on the simple weekly scheduled from step two, and then do your plan for the first day of the week. That's often enough to keep you on track. Because remember that the goal of this routine is to fit into our busy lives and adapt to unexpected changes. Whether you complete every step of the process or just the essential you'll still be setting yourself up for success. And if you manage to do the whole routine, then even better and you'll be even better prepared. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you're interested in the template I used in this video, you can find it in the description below. Or if you just want the simple weekly planning schedule, you can also grab that for free from the description as well. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!